Hey, what's up guys? Silver here with another Spartan Assault Achievement Guide. This time we're doing two at once. We're doing Recruit, which is earn a star of any type in an operation mission, and Prodigy, which is earn your first gold star in an operation mission. So there's a handful of missions that are easier than others, but we're going to start with A1 because it's the first one. Might as well just get this achievement out of the way right off the bat, or these two achievements, I should say. So we'll load into that mission right now, and basically to get a gold star or any type of star, you need to hit a certain amount of points, and it's different for each mission. So we're going to start off by killing these two grunts as they drop into the map. You could just walk up to their drop pod and just melee them as they walk out of it. And each enemy has a raw amount of points that they'll give you when you kill them. But definitely the best way to get even more points is to get multi-kills and sprees. So that's what you want to shoot for is getting kills uh, very quickly one after the other so you could chain together a large multi-kill. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to run to the left immediately after killing those grunts from the drop pod. And all these grunts are pretty easy to kill so it's easy to string them together to get a large multi-kill. They're either a one-shot kill with your pistol. Or as you can see, you could just melee them once like we've been doing. It only takes one hit to kill them. So it's a very good strategy to just melee them as they come through the shield door here. They have no chance to defend themselves, so you're pretty safe doing it actually. And those grunts make up the majority of the enemies in this mission. They come from the left or the right shield doors or sometimes occasionally drop in with the drop pods. The only exception being like four or five elites that come in as well. So you'll see me use grenades to kill the elites because it kills them quickly and easily and keeps that multi-kill going. But we're basically just running from the left to the right to the left to the right, uh, killing all the enemies that come in from the shield doors as they spawn in. And the final wave is two or three elites that come in at the end. So like I mentioned, we're going to use some grenades to take them out quickly and easily. Uh, that grenade in particular was not great, so I guess I'll just shoot that guy and melee him to death. This guy is actually taken out by my marine buddies, so thanks for helping out there. So we finished the mission, and as we come into the post-game summary here with all our points and everything, uh, we can see that we're going to get the 10,000, 20,000, and then 35,000 for that gold star. And just a note, there are four different versions of this game. I'm using the Xbox One version to record these achievements, and the gold star thresholds do differ from uh, version to version sometimes. So it's 35,000 for me right here, but it may differ for you, just uh, keep that in mind. But again, the best way to get points is multi-kills, sprees, and also time bonus is a factor as well. So you can see I got 7,500 for that. So finishing missions faster gets you bonus points. But So this is one of the easier missions. You should be able to crack the 35,000 threshold or whatever the threshold is for your version of the game. But if you're still having trouble for some reason, when you try again, you'll come to the armory before you start the mission. Uh, and this is the armory right here. You can change your primary or secondary weapon, and you can also change your armor ability and your booster. By default, the booster is nothing. You don't have a booster. But if you click on that, you'll have the option to add a damage or a score booster, and both of those really help out with increasing your score. The score booster just increases the base score for all the enemies you kill, so obviously that will increase your score. But the damage booster also increases your score, even more so in a lot of cases, because it increases your damage output, so it's easier to maintain sprees and multi-kills and also finish missions faster. But I think that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, this is just a gold star guide for this first mission. You could obviously unlock this achievement on any mission, but if you're interested in getting the achievement for getting all gold stars, I will have those guides coming out very shortly if they're not out already. So that's a wrap on this one. Thanks for watching guys, if you found that video helpful be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides and I'll see you in the next one.